Good morning, guys, and happy um, Saturday, Sunday to all of your sunshiny faces. I'm going to see if I can't get you guys a real quick video before um, our church service starts. Um, I, we went to Jewel. We spent like $33. It's a couple things I couldn't find there. And then all day, I think we spent 45 or somewhere under 50 bucks. Um, so we just went to the two stores just to do a little bit of a fill-in because not all the grocery stores had sales going on this week. There's a couple things at Jewel I didn't end up getting. Um, I couldn't find, they had the big things of Doritos, like the party size. Couldn't find those anywhere. They were on sale um, for $2.50 when you bought two, um, which I thought was actually a pretty good deal for like the big party size ones, but they didn't have those. Um, I couldn't find, I was gonna get a, like two bags of peanuts, like 10 ounce peanuts um, for the birds. Couldn't find those. Um, and then also too, they, they had the Pringles, but they didn't have the little tags. That was supposed to be the same sale as of the goldfish but they're two separate coupons for them and they didn't have the tags on and I didn't have an ad because I told you guys yesterday I ended up recycling it so I didn't bring it with so I could have pulled up on my phone but it would have just taken too long and I was like let's just move on so um, I'll show you guys all the other deals that I ended up getting and then at Aldi um, the blue or the blackberries um, we ended up putting like separated them too far because we were the first person actually we were there and like nobody was at either of the stores this morning but um, the blackberries were like I think too far separated on the conveyor belt and so the guy I think thought that they were the person behind us <laughs> because then when I was leaving I realized that I think I saw the person that was behind us I thought that like she had also got blackberries and so that's why I was thinking then when I realized we bagged all the stuff and didn't see them in our cart because I was like oh she got four things too and then I was like wait did we get ours so um yeah um I think that that was um where ours ended up but we didn't like pay for them it was just they ended up on the conveyor belt something we had in our cart but ended up um to the person <laughs> person behind us got blueberries or blackberries so um anyways I'll share this with you guys real quick so like I said this was jewel this was uh like 30 33 dollars um we got two things of the pub burgers they were a four pack for six dollars they are dollar fifty each so we got two so that we'd have enough um red grapes were on sale for 99 cents a pound goldfish were 77 cents after coupon that was supposed to be the same as the pringles like I said we couldn't find those um with the tag on them and I didn't know the ounce size or anything like that so um and then raspberries were on sale for 188 we got four packages of those roma tomatoes were 88 cents per pound avocados were 88 cents each the gatorades my mom asked for these they weren't really on sale they were a dollar each though which is still 50 cents i think less than what they normally are um and then the rockstar energies these were five for three and then there was a dollar or two dollar off three coupons so these were a dollar each so that plus we also got water from Jewel as well. And then real quick over at Aldi, we got a couple things of potato chips like for New Year's Eve and also tortilla chips. I got a thing of um, Wisconsin like yellow potatoes. These were $1.99 for a two pound bag, I think. Um, the brioche buns, which are for those, which we're gonna do the pub burgers on New Year's Day, I believe. That's when my dad and Jack have turned into a kind of a grilling tradition <laughs> um and then um white bread some bananas oranges were 199 i think or two something um for a four pound bag uh peanut wafers also they got some pop tarts the trash bags we got lettuce for salad my mom asked for cinnamon rolls um hash browns butter milk and then i also got some um like starbucks coffee so that was everything from Aldi and that ended up, like I said, being $45. So I'm gonna just real quick get the cold stuff put away. Um, and then we've got, like I said, church service and then we've got the, the Bears game on after that. Well guys, I forgot I even recorded earlier today. I did not wind up actually getting to much today other than obviously to grocery store which I totally forgot was even today like I mean we didn't get I didn't get up super early but it just seems like between then and then like all the other stuff that we ended up doing today um like I said we had our church service um which was online and then also um the the um the Bears game then watch the Seattle game um and then ended up watching my new Seattle jersey um and then ended up watching um the Bulls game was on later in the afternoon 
Um, and I'll be honest, I didn't end up getting to a whole ton of anything else really for today. Um, really no dishes or laundry or anything. Um, but I did yesterday, I set up my planner um, for, you know, for tomorrow. Um, and for like pretty much the rest of this week and everything like that so that I can hopefully stay focused, get to all of that stuff. I also was able to actually get um, my German lesson done for today too. So um, I, like I said, got to some little things here and there and on top of that too I think we might actually I might maybe convince my dad see if we can't do a um like Walgreens run too because Walgreens actually has a couple of deals on some things that um aren't like the greatest sales ever the greatest deals but they're on a couple things that um we will actually use and you know sort of need anyway so I just sort of went through their app real quick because I had downloaded that on my phone um but I hadn't had it downloaded on my other phone I just downloaded it on my new phone because um the new phone that I got has more memory than the other one and while I wasn't you know like I never ended up ever running out of like you know space storage on either of my two old phones I was always paranoid that I was going to and so this one that I got has like the medium amount of storage not like the least and not the most but um it has 136 I think or whatever that is 100 and something gigabytes and so I was like okay I feel a little bit more confident like you know downloading some of those other apps like you know um I think the only one I really had was um, Target's, Walmart's, and Jewel's app. Um, and then I had Ibotta and like Checkout 51, I think were the only ones that I actually had downloaded on my phone. Um, but then I downloaded um, like Walgreens and CVS as well. And I might even wind up downloading like Caputo's and Valley Produce's also. Um, it was just again, one of those things where I was like, I'm scared I'm gonna like run out of space on there so I don't wanna download them. Um, but it makes it more convenient if I can just obviously do it on my phone because I was sitting in there watching the Bulls post game. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'll just check to see if there's anything really going on. And again, there was like men's body wash, which we don't have a ton of. It wasn't the best sale again, it was like, I think two dollars after coupon and then also um what's it called um not detergent fabric softener too which I think I'm on the last bottle of fabric softener and then also too they had a deal on um like special case cereal and so I was like well all I have to do is just go to the store and like you know put my phone number in or whatever and my reward thingies which they changed the Walgreens program again like since I've been couponing now they've changed it three times and CVS has stayed completely with you know like their extra care reward system and all that kind of stuff Walgreens was you know like they used to just have it where you didn't even have to use a, like a reward savings or anything like that um, at all really I don't think um, I guess when I first started like I said shopping um, at Walgreens and it was just like the register rewards were the thing that you know was like their program sort of I guess um and then they changed it to balance rewards where you have to have your number or you know your card or whatever and then now they changed it to my Walgreens I think is what it's called and they call it my Walgreens cash or my cash or something or Walgreens cash I don't know um but it pretty much it seems like it works the exact same way almost as a balance rewards I don't see what much of the difference is um from like reading it and everything like that and I was never hugely like huge into using the balance rewards um but I did get sort of into it for a little while and stuff like that and so, um, a, a couple of times my dad went to, I actually realized, um, checking on one of the receipts that some of the Christmas, um, like I think it was actually the, um, St. Nicholas stuff, like the candy that he bought, he bought at Walgreens and used my phone number and I never even really realized it. Um, and I was looking on there and I was like, hey, that's all the stuff that he got us for, <laughs> for, um, St. Nicholas Day. Um, so like the little candy cane, like thing that had like the, um, chocolates in there and stuff. 
stuff like that. Um, I think he bought all that stuff at Walgreens. And like I said, he used my phone number just because, you know, like you get the sales only if you have the phone number and he knows that like that's what we use at Jewel. That's what I use at Walgreens. And I think that's what I use at CVS too. I don't know. Like I don't remember. I always gave them my actual card. I don't think I've ever used my actual phone number at CVS. So I don't totally know. But um, like I said, most of the um, like store rewards and stuff like that. I manage all of that stuff. Like I think my mom uses her for, hers for CVS because she has all of her prescriptions under it. But like for actual like saving stuff like if my dad ever ran into CVS he'd probably wind up using my phone number um you know but I think because my mom's prescriptions he has to use my mom's phone number which is again confusing and it's also confusing too because like if I get prescriptions I would use my phone number because it'd be under my like account too like if I wanted to manage my prescriptions um versus like I said my mom's they're under hers on her CVS account um so you know she can do all that stuff you can do it all through the app I just mainly go to the store and do the shopping and stuff like that and all the savings and everything um but anyways I forgot what I was saying just um yeah about like Walgreens stuff it seems like theirs um has to do mainly the exact same way it's just I realized my dad when he had been shopping recently at Walgreens he stopped in I guess a couple times and had used mine so I have some like that were balance rewards points that transferred over to like the Walgreens cash I have like 55 cents I think it is so it's not even enough to redeem a full dollar but I think that it works the same too so it's like in increments of what you've earned so once I actually have enough to redeem a dollar I can redeem a dollar at Walgreens um but I think it does it in the same thing basically the balance rewards did I think they just switched it to doing it this way because I think it's a little confusing when you're like oh it's a thousand points but instead of saying like I earned a dollar worth of points to just say like I've earned a dollar you know or whatever um and the same thing too because they do have this stuff available in the ads like it seems like they did with the balance rewards points too where it's like oh if you bought like deodorant you get a dollar back on it or something if that was a promo they were running for that week um so it seems very similar I saw some of that stuff and they still have like the register awards um programs and stuff like that but Walgreens is not like always the greatest place to shop they just I feel like theirs is a little bit more convenient because again I can just load the coupons on my phone and then go into the store and go and do it and I can just like it's kind of that hassle free thing but I can still go and get some of the savings whereas like CVS is like seems like it's a little bit more for like I don't want to say serious couponing stuff the system hasn't really seemed to change with like you know the fact that like the extra bucks and everything like that um you know are still the same thing they print on the end of your receipt and like all that kind of stuff just like you know it seems a little confusing like what if I lose them what if something happens to them or you know like something like that it, it seems like they still have a lot of like coupons that you can actually use in the app but not always that like pair well with like the sales that are going on I don't know if that makes sense but like Walgreens just seems easier like like I said I just saw like oh look at that if I just clip this coupon and go to the store I can redeem it and get the you know fabric softener for two bucks that we needed anyway um whereas like CVS it seems like I said it was a little bit more like you have to, to kind of figure the best deal and then pair it up with other things and sometimes too it's just I just want to go and grab the fabric softener um you know I don't want to make a huge big couponing haul out of it which is great and I'm sure I can save a ton of money but like right now that's not necessarily my mindset like every once in a while I'd like to just hit up a store and go and do a couple deals and not have to worry about like doing a whole big um you know thing and then on top of that too, Walgreens um, rewards, you know, their balance rewards and now their Walgreens cash or whatever it is, my cash or Walgreens my cash something something along those lines um is it's good for a whole year and so if you don't like you your account isn't inactive I think for six months or you don't redeem any of the you know the dollar amounts or whatever for a whole year then it expires whereas CVS's extra bucks I think expire every month or something like that with the register awards I think they expire in two weeks but again if I didn't want to do any of those deals I didn't have to but you know it it's, I don't know, it just seems like it's easier to kind of have that option. Like, it's the same with Jewel, too, when I shop at Jewel. Like, um, I, I forgot to share with you guys, too. My Jewel haul today, I actually did end up redeeming. I had 
three like points or whatever they call them um, that I had earned and so that was actually a four dollar coupon that went towards my purchase um, and so you can use them for different things I just always click the off the basket purchase thing um, because that way it just takes off whatever stuff I'm planning on getting for that week so it would actually have been what I say we spent $33 it would have been $37 but again if I like decided I was I didn't want to shop at Jewel or something like that for a while I don't have to worry about like oh no my coupons are gonna expire or this thing or that thing or whatever like you know I don't have to take things quite as seriously if again real life happens and I can't get to the store within that time frame of things you know and coupons and stuff like that expiring um you know I can skip or miss a couple of weeks or even months worth of sales and not have to be like oh my gosh now all of my you know like my extra bucks ended up expiring or my balance rewards you know or now the my cash whatever it is um or you know the register awards expired or you know like I said Jewel does their points I think like you earn the points to actually get a reward I think it's called and so your rewards expire I think once you've accumulated them after like so many weeks I think or like a month or something like that um but normally I can wind up I think it's maybe every like two months or something like that they can expire or something I don't remember but anyways they can it's just like it's not that huge big of a thing if like you know that's something that winds up happening with the jewel stuff because it's normally like just a dollar off after I've spent like you know over a hundred or close to it I think is what it accumulates to but again I earn that over the course of like a month or two I don't spend it all necessarily in one transaction uh, all the time I guess I don't think we really even have spent over a hundred dollars at jewel at any time recently um, but I think that's like I said what it equates to and so that sort of ends up equaling like a dollar but um you know, it's not anywhere like super, super close to like, you know, me feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I let that expire or whatever. So that's why I just don't like to be tethered down to like have to make sure like I go to place every single week because then on top of that too, if they don't have great sales going on that week or I get to the store and they don't have some of the stuff that I was hoping to get, then I have to either just like change my plan or, you know, kind of just be like, oh, well, I guess I'll just buy this stuff even though it wasn't a great sale or whatever, just so that I use up that stuff so it doesn't expire and sometimes it doesn't always roll really well and so um you know like I said I I was liking Walgreens for a while I think maybe it was last winter maybe not last winter maybe the winter before that like 2019 I think it was or something I got back into doing like Walgreens for a little while and I was like doing that and like I said kind of with the balance reward stuff and everything and it was going it seemed like kind of well like you know um shopping around at Walgreens and everything and again too I didn't feel super like tethered down to it like oh I have to make sure that I get to the store or whatever you know um and I could just pop in and like oh okay there was a couple of good deals going on this week I didn't have to go every week if there wasn't stuff that was great sales going on or whatever um and so yeah a lot of stores again too have sort of changed a lot of the couponing stuff since I really started and so for me it's not the same I guess I don't know but I really like the way that we sort of are saving because it's just like let's try and really just save on the stuff that we're actually getting stock up when stuff's really cheap and on sale but not go like super crazy or anything like that and again too if I'm just getting one thing a fabric softener that's at a decent price but it's not insanely crazy like cheap or anything like that the effort I don't have to put a lot of effort in to just still getting a, a good to okay deal sometimes I don't want to put all that effort into finding the greatest deal on like these things or whatever you know then stocking up on it or whatever it's like if I can just sort of give you know my hours worth of you know or maybe two hours at most worth of like planning my lists and stuff like that and you know that includes like sort of of meal planning all that kind of stuff for the week then to me that's not that much time but like it used to take me sometimes like just to do CVS list like an hour it's just about that effort I think and like what I can do like <laughs> sort of the minimum I can do and still get a good sale here and there and stuff like that so that's why I did see a couple things I might pop into Walgreens and go and pick that up so maybe I will have a little haul during the week or something like that for you guys I don't totally know or maybe even too because 
Walgreens sales will run until Saturday. We might maybe stop in on Friday or Saturday when we go. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. But I'll let you guys know if that does wind up happening, obviously. But if you guys did enjoy today's vlog, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. And I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye, guys.